Uh, Kevin, I guess just first of all, we're going to start with that five-run third inning um, for, for Michael Walker. I guess what did you see from him there that he might have been struggling with? Well, I mean, Seattle's hitters just it seemed like they 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 were on everything. They made nice adjustments through the, throughout the at bat, and you know, Walk obviously didn't have the best finish to his pitches, uh, and Seattle um, just made us pay for it. Right. Um, certainly not the story of the game, but um, maybe just a couple uncharacteristic defensive errors there. You know, Wendell on top of the sixth and then Lau in the third inning, like we were just talking about. Was that just a bit strange to see, I guess? Yeah, I mean, we set such a high bar um, defensively or basically all around. This team's really good, and when you see stuff pop up like that uh, more than once in a game or, you know, a handful of times, you, you scratch your head at it. But th th they've been playing really well tonight. All of us, I think, just kind of had an off night. And Seattle is, you know, they, they've kind of had our number. We're going to have to make some adjustments moving forward. Um, they, they've played really well against us. Now you mentioned it. Uh, did it just feel like one of those nights where things just weren't quite going your way? Yeah, in the third inning, I mean, you know, look, we're just not in those games very often. I've said it, you know, one or two times, I think, this year where you're down that early down and feel like you're a long way from, from getting anything going, and tonight was one of them. Um, so, yes. Hey, Kevin, Waka has had a lot of these uh, sort of this pattern where he has a good start followed by a start that's not so good. It's, it's happened over the last six weeks or so. It, is there is that just fluky, or is there something you know that you can point to that is happening in between these starts? If there was something that we could point to, we would certainly do everything in our power to address it. And I'm pretty confident Walk would do the same thing. I do agree with your assessment. There's been, you know, variance and inconsistencies in there. I mean, the start before this was probably arguably his best start of the season. And he's put together, you know, a handful of those. Um, so, it, you know, it is unfortunate that, you know, today he wasn't able to follow that up. Uh, but, you know, I give Walk credit. You know, we don't like to overextend guys given the way the bullpen was used and taxed so much over the previous three games or actually previous six games. Um, he stayed out there competing. It just was not, not his night and, and certainly not our night. Mazza also kind of bailed you out too there with, with three innings. He did. Mazza picked us up. Uh, in a pretty big way. I mean, we, we were we were certainly not fresh in the bullpen. We had some guys that that we had committed to before the game that we were going to avoid basically at all costs unless we got into extra inning situation. Uh, so all those guys, Mazza certainly picked us up with three innings. Good to see DJ Johnson uh, in a Rays uniform and what he can do. He's got some life to the fastball. He's got a you know a good change up, and then the curveball when he lands it looks like a pretty devastating pitch. Kevin, when you say uh, Walker maybe didn't have the finish to his pitches, was it maybe the fastball velocity not quite the same, creating the separation like you've mentioned pregame, or just kind of everything a little bit? Well, I think that plays a little bit of it in part, but uh, you know the cutter um, the cutter wasn't maybe as sharp. There it seemed like they they. Took advantage of some cutters. Uh, the, the finish to the changeup, you know, with, with as many lefties as they had. If he has his normal fit finish, he'd probably get some more swing and miss in there. Um, but they, they, it just felt like they were they had a really good approach. Uh, they were, you know, confident with what they were trying to do and, and just made us pay. They found they found holes. They hit balls hard. They did they did everything. They had a, a, a good night. And on the other side, of Randy and KK hit a couple of balls hard, but otherwise not a lot of chances against Flexen. What did you see from him that he was doing? Well, he threw a good ball game. He had a he had a you know fastball at the top of his own cutter, a um, couple changeups in there, a couple curve balls. Uh, but, you know you can see why you know he's presented challenges to both right and lefties, but certainly lefties the way that that fastball. And the cutter kind of at times morph into the same pitch and it just runs in on lefties pretty good. It's tough to get the barrel to him.